So recently I've uploaded a couple of videos which were basically a tutorial on how to ruin your company. You know we had the Panera Bread situation, we had the Bacon Paper situation, we had the Kite Baby situation. If for some reason you're in a rush to ruin your entire company, that would be a good route to go down. Well today we're going to change it up ever so slightly because this is going to be a tutorial on how to ruin your TikTok career. So if for some reason you're sick of posting TikToks, you know, it's getting a bit difficult posting your 30 second videos with zero editing, this would be a good route to go down. Because today we are talking about a TikToker called Liana from Omegle. Now I'm not exactly sure where the whole from Omegle thing originates. Like is she famous on Omegle? I don't really get it. How can you be famous on Omegle? I swear it's not like you can follow anyone, right? You just randomize who you speak to. So I don't really get that. But what you might notice here is I've had to use a screenshot of Liana's account because her account is currently on private as we can see here and I can't find it anywhere. And there's a very good reason why her account is private and it's because she's getting a ridiculous amount of back Backlash. And I can't say it's unjustified, and in fact, in her opinion, the backlash should be a good thing. Now, this will all make sense in just a second, so let's add some context to this, right? So, Liana is a TikToker. She posts, like, get ready with me's and whatnot, and in fact, the video we're watching today is a get ready with me, which in itself should be pretty unproblematic, shouldn't it? I mean, she's just getting ready for the day. But it's not her specifically getting ready that's the problem. It's the stuff that she's talking about whilst getting ready. And you know what? I'll just play the video, and we can start talking about it, because it comes pretty obvious why she's getting so much backlash. There was a comment someone made, and it basically said something to the effect of, I'm so glad to see you let me I'm still the same mean girl that she was in high school. Now, one thing I'll say straight away is that she's kind of whispering throughout this video, so it makes it quite hard to understand what she's saying at some point. And maybe it's just me, maybe it's an accent thing, but I'll try my best to explain. But at this point, someone has left a comment, someone that knew Liana in school, who claims that she was actually a bully, she was a mean girl in school. And let me tell you, Liana's reaction to this is probably not what you would expect. I didn't really care about people when I was in high school. I'm just busy doing my own thing and dealing with my own stuff. I actually, my high school life was very strange. I was pretty smart, like I am pretty smart. So I was in a lot of the like higher academic classes, but I wasn't friends with any of the kids in those classes. So I also have really bad RBF. So that might have had something to do with it. You can kind of tell by the calm way she's explaining this that she doesn't regret any of this. And that becomes very clear the further we get into this. But it's so like nonchalant, isn't it? Like someone's claimed that she was a mean girl in school and she was a bully. And she's just going, yeah, so basically I was really smart in school. You know, I was in all the smart classes, but I didn't like any of them. Sometimes I say things before I can think them through. So, but yeah, like I said, I was in high school over four years ago and I was in the COVID class. So I wasn't even going to school like probably for a month before our school closed because i was doing my own thing i've traveled a lot in the past four years i've met a lot of different people been in a lot of different places and learned a lot of life lessons so i don't really think about high school anymore and if you're still focused on me in high school then you clearly have no purpose in my life because you would definitely have a different opinion if you, like, actually knew me. Okay, right. I mean, that's not a good start, is it? Now, the thing is, this video could have been somewhat good, right? She could have read this comment, spoke about how she was a completely different person, which she kind of is here with a few weird comments here and there. But she could at least show some remorse, right, and apologize. And in fact, she goes on to do the complete opposite. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to hold you to the person you were in school for the rest of your life, as long as you've changed. But when she goes on to say the opinions that she says in this video, it makes it seem as if she hasn't changed, or at least she doesn't regret anything she did in school. Well, someone who's like focused on high school and it's been almost five years, y'all must be chronically online and need to like get a life. <laughs> I mean, she's still going in on the people. She has said multiple times now that if you're still going on about stuff that's happened in school, like what's wrong with you? Complete disregarding the fact that the stuff that she could have done in school definitely could affect people for many years. You could ruin someone's confidence for so long and the fact that she's saying that she's changed it's a bit baffling because it clearly doesn't seem like she has. She hasn't changed her opinions on this. And if anything, she's still going in on the same people. If she really had changed, she would probably be doing anything in her power to be nice to these people now. Go meet people, go talk to people, go make money, y'all. Uh, I mean, yeah, still just taking a piss here, saying, like, do something better with your life. Go make money, talk to people, all this. I mean, this doesn't seem like someone who's changed. So you can already see where the backlash is coming from, right? And we're not even halfway through. I do have a hot take on this. I think bullying is something that has to happen when you're young. Uh, <laughs> um, excuse me? So you haven't changed then? That whole spiel at the beginning was just a load of shy? I think it's just a bit ironic to say that this is something that has to happen when you're young, when you were the bully. Like, it's not like the roles are being reversed here. And I've always thought this way, and I will probably continue to think this way. If you're, if you're someone who's being bullied, you kind of, like, turn to stick up for yourself, or, like, 
learn to have more confidence in yourself bullying in america or like the mean girls of america bruh it's really not that bad i mean cop how can you say it when you were that person i mean you give this big speech about people who were stuck in their mindset from school and they should go out and travel and meet people but you definitely seem to be in the same mindset from school you left four or five years ago as you said you're an adult now and you still have the opinion that bullying is a good thing it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? And again, like I said earlier, a lot of people would not hold it against her if she really had changed. People aren't gonna hold against her what she was as a child to what she is as an adult as long as she has changed. But that clearly isn't the case. She clearly still has a mindset of a high school student. And not only does she have that mindset, she is so confident in it that she's went to TikTok to tell it to God knows how many people. And I mean, it's a lovely message to spread, right? Especially when there's so many young people online watching TikTok videos to say bullying is a good thing. I mean, imagine if some of these mean girls watch this, as you say, or these bullies watch this, and all of a sudden they're thinking, all oh, right, so I'm actually doing the Lord's work here. And do you know what's even more ironic about this? As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, she has now privated her account, but she claims that bullying is a good thing. Meaning, she should probably have the belief that the negative comments she's getting are a good thing. But clearly she doesn't because the roles have now been reversed. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? It's very ironic. American teenagers have gotten so soft these days because of social media. Literally anything offends people and makes people be like, oh, I'm being bullied. Oh my god. I mean, how unlikable can you be? And to say this so confidently on a TikTok video, like how did you think this was going to go? If you were really going to hate the backlash this much to the point where you'd private your account, what did you expect to happen? Did you really think that the comment section was gonna be filled with people being like, yeah, I've had the same opinion for years, you know, bullying's fucking mint. Like, honestly, this could have been such a good opportunity to own up to your mistakes and show that you've grown, you know, now that you're an adult, you don't have this mindset anymore, you regret it and whatnot, but clearly the opposite has happened. And again, if there was ever a tutorial on how to ruin your career as quickly as possible, this would be a great one. It's gonna help you grow up and be a stronger person, a heavier foot in life because of your experience. Unless you dwell on it for four years after high school. Oh my God. Like the way she's going on about this is actually horrible. She's clearly still a bully. Clearly, right? She's laughing at people who have had the experience of being bullied. She's a bully. And she spoke about how she changed at the beginning. I don't get it, right? Because she's now laughing at the people who went through this experience, making fun of them, saying they're still going on about it four years later. You aren't in their shoes. I mean, you got a very small taste of being in their shoes by getting a few negative comments on social media and you were terrified of it and private your account and now you're no longer posting. Like if we're gonna go on about what's happened in the last four years, what have you done in the last four years that's helped you grow as a person? Because it doesn't seem like much. You've done all the traveling, you've done all the speaking to people, earning your money, as you said, but it clearly hasn't done much. And then if you are someone that's bullying people, you never know what's going on in someone's life. Don't take it too personally if someone's Bullying you, they probably have something going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It just gets worse, doesn't it? She has spoke 99% of this video by basically saying that bullying is a good thing, and if you're being bullied, don't dwell on it for four years. And she finally gets to the point to talk about the people who are the bullies, right? To try and give advice to them. Which you would probably think should be 99% of the video, you know, explain how wrong it is. But all she says, in a very short sentence, is if you are someone who is bullying people, you don't know what they're going through in life. And then quickly moves on to say, oh, by the way, if you're being bullied, you don't know what's going on in their life either. Honestly, those people probably have some things that they need to work on themselves. Maybe that's all they know. But it's going to teach them too how to treat people. Also, just the fact that she's doing this all while putting like fucking skincare stuff on her face. Like, you couldn't have done this in a better scenario, could you? A lot of people that are bullies do end up having like higher social growth in life. What? Wait, what? People that are bullies have higher growth in life. Where did you get that from then? I don't want to think that's a real stat in the single slightest. And if it is, I would love to see it. But I mean, exhibit A, clearly you haven't had much growth at all. But if you're still dwelling on that from five years ago... <laughs> uh, and just still laughing about it. I mean, she genuinely is probably the one of the most unlikable people I think I've seen on this app. And I don't know how many views this got before she made her account private. As we can see, it's on about 30,000 likes. And this isn't a video that you would probably usually like, meaning I would hazard a guess that it was on nearly a million views. That would be my guess. But a lot of people have seen this video. That is clear as day. How did you think this was gonna go? And I just can't get over the irony that she then privated her account because of these negative comments. Like, do you not see that irony yourself? You're laughing at people who got affected by bullying, which is worse than just some negative comments on a TikTok video. 
and you couldn't take that. So how do you think they feel? And again, this could have been a decent video, right? Showing that you've changed, showing remorse, all this stuff, right? I think a lot of people wouldn't hold that against her. Of course, there would be a lot of negative comments, right? But it wouldn't be as negative as this, clearly. But this video is so tone deaf, it is unbelievable. Uh, I don't talk to anyone from high school. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Why would they want to speak to you? High school doesn't matter at all. You're 22, you really need to like get a grip and focus on like your priorities in life. Okay, so she's 22, I'm guessing, from that statement right there, which is even more embarrassing that she's making this video. I mean, you're going on about how like, if you're 22, you really need to get a grip and all this stuff, but look at you. You're 22 and you're making a TikTok video about how great bullying is. <laughs> like, are you not embarrassed? Dwelling on the past, which is crazy to me. Which is crazy to me. I mean, she's still going on. Oh uh, God, uh, it's just not a good video, is it? That always made me giggle when I would see people from my school watching my stuff. It's so crazy. It really makes me giggle when I see people from school watch my stuff. Well, they can't watch it anymore because you got rid of it all because you were scared of the people watching your videos. But don't dwell on it, Liana, because at the end of the day, this is a good thing. Imagine all the growth. You're being bullied in high school or you are a bully in high school. Y'all, it's so overrated. I promise. High school is literally people literally mean zero to me now. And all of the things that happen in high school literally mean this to me now. Because yeah, you, because you were the one doing it. You weren't on the receiving end of it. I genuinely think that she couldn't have tackled this topic worse than what she did. She has made it as bad as humanly possible, which I guess in itself is quite the talent. You somehow made the worst possible video on a topic you could. Well done, I guess. If you're still like reminiscing about high school and you're still hurt by something, I said or did to you. I'm sorry. I probably don't remember it anyway. <laughs> and you should probably get outside more. Ah, oh, God. I mean, where did all the growth go then? She's mentioned it a few times and I see absolutely none of it. She literally ends the video by going, I I'm sorry, I guess. I, I probably don't remember it. And again, I would like to remind you that this is currently how her TikTok account looks. I'm sure she'll remember this. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people made videos about this, showing their reactions, right? And these videos are getting... Stupid amount of views, to the point where people in Liana's social life, in her actual life, are definitely going to see this. They're definitely going to know about this video existing. And I'm assuming she has a job, which if they find out, I'm not sure how they're going to react. Because look at the attention this is getting, right? Here's someone talking about it with 761,000 views. Here's another one with 2.2 million, nearly 200,000. And then we've got a bunch of like 40,000, 20,000. This one's got 260,000. Like millions of people have seen this at this point. Oh, and yeah, as I scroll down, there's even more with ridiculous amounts of views. This one's on nearly a million. Like a lot of people have seen this. This is going to affect her life a lot. And Maybe at that point she will realize like how bad that video was. You know, once it actually affects her and she realizes maybe that would change her opinions. Who bloody knows at this point? But I highly doubt there's going to be a big return to TikTok anytime soon because the reaction is going to be horrendous, which she clearly can't take, right? She can't take the negative comments, which again, very ironic. But who knows? Maybe she will return. This did happen about six or seven days ago. She hasn't returned yet. So who knows what's going to happen. I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section on everything we spoke about in today's video. What do you think is going to happen next? Please let me know. And yeah, I'm going to leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please do a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.